Cool. Like I said, they're getting into the bell means their engineers are now ready to depart. Still an mammal, growing at a height of 18 to 19 feet tall. They lack have stripes that do not go around their full body, so they have a completely white underbelly. That means that they are white with black stripes. So we have some here to protect their skin. Extremely powerful kick. I was able to take down a lion in one fell swoop. Do not want to with those parts. <laughs> Up towards the front of the train, we got these large animals known as the white rhinos. White rhinos are the third largest land animal. I'm going to ask that everybody stay seated because Hold on, hold on, just wait, just wait, trust me. Don't worry, I'll be cool. Like I said, they're going to the bell means their engineers are now ready to depart. So, at this time, there shall be no more switching of rows, seats, or coaches. As we got the geek thumbs up. The ding ding. Not yet. The wave wave and the. Now you guys can do it. As we depart, everybody put a hand up in the air and wave goodbye to our hardworking stage masters. Or, like the people who are clapping back here, you guys can give a round of applause as well. There we go. They're working really hard today. It's nice and hot out. I've been working really hard. Starting off our journey, over here on the right hand side, the tall wooden structures known as Iron Gwazis, my favorite roller coaster here at the park. Iron Gwazis, the tallest fastest ski and starch coaster in the world, taking riders 260 feet up in the air. It's a 91 degree drop and it's riders at a top speed of 80 miles per hour. Originally, different roller coasters used to be there, known as Gwazi, which was a drilling wooden coaster until 1999. Both Wazi and Iron Wazi had similar moments of their layout with each other. This was intentional by design as they wanted to pay tribute to the original ride. This red and blue roller coaster all around this is known as Sheep Brothers. She grew up another Florida's first dive coaster. A few years after opening, they removed this floor and they gave it their Florida's dive coaster. It takes right up to 100 feet up in the air. Two points you can spray down towards the ground, not once, but twice. Over there on the right hand side of the train is Scorpion. Behind it, it's called Drop Tower, is Falcon Scary. Both of those are located in Pantopia. Pantopia is also home to Dragonfire Trail Pantopia Theater here at the Carnival Games. Over there on the left hand side of the train, you'll be able to see the Stanleyville Boston as well as Tigris. Both of are located in the Stanleyville. Tigris is one of our two launch coasters we have here at the park. It's special as it takes riders forward, backwards, and forward. It's not bad at all. It's one of the shortest track lengths in the park, minus the skip coaster. I'll put you in front of me. However, except for that, that it does cover the same track in future life. Over here on the left hand side of the train, I'm dealing with a roller coaster known as Kumba. I am a huge fan of Kumba. Learned a lot about this ride, especially the fact that it's a little box in is about 100 decibels. That's what myself to figure out. Also, it was built back in 1993, right years ago. This roller coaster was extremely impactful for Bush Garden as it led to Clark to get increased popularity and led to the creation of Matu, Kawazi, Ikra. All within a decade. Over here on our left hand side, you'll see those folks waving. Right. Right. We got some people waving here to back to them. 
And another animal that can't wave at you, unfortunately. I love the advert, folks, but that animal can't wave. It doesn't have hands. That animal is the juicy cattle. Juicy cattle are fried by Epsom farmers for the size of their horns. The larger the horns, the more valuable the cattle is. Their horns can go up to 16 in length, giving them the big name of the African longhorn. Now, folks, we are in the free roaming animal habitat now, so please make sure to remain seated to keep your hands on your feet and legs inside the train. Starting off, over there on our right hand side, you'll see a tall swing ride that's the Serengeti Flyer. The tallest and fastest ride of its kind in the world. It takes riders 135 feet up in the air and swings them at a speed of 68 miles per hour. The interesting fact about that ride is that both swings can act independently of each other. So even if one side is not working, or the other is not running, we can still run the ride with only one operating. Inside of a train, out in the distance, you'll see a tall animal known as the Giggalated Giraffe. The Giggalated Giraffe are the tallest land animals. They grow at a height of 18 to 19 feet tall. <laughs> Over here on the left hand side of the train, you'll be able to see a reddish brown animal within white stripes known as the Nyala. The Nyala are sexually dimorphic, and the males and females look completely different from each other. All the arms that we have out here are females. They also have an extremely fluffy tail. Over there on the right hand side of the train, you'll be able to see the entrance to the Serengeti Flyer, as well as our Asian Elephant Exhibit in the Animal Care Center. An interesting fact about Asian elephants is that they have the record for the longest pregnancy of all mammals. Humans have a pregnancy that lasts for an average of around 9 months, while the Asian elephants last for a whopping 22 months. Also over there on the right hand side of the train, you'll be able to see the Animal Interactions in the Forest Building. Some two are forest birds and rat feeding trees, so they are close to the dark animals. Find more information about those birds here in Nairobi. Nairobi is also home to the Hitchhiker Co op over there on the left hand side, home to where lions, hyenas, cephalos, and uh, crocodiles. And Nairobi is also the closest stop to the park's entrance and exit, as well as the entrance to Montu, Cobra's Curse, Cheetah Hunt, and Iron Velocity. It's also the closest off to the Moroccan Palace where we have our ice skating show. But now folks, we are entering into Nairobi, so I do ask everybody please make sure to remain seated. And here we come to a full stop. Now folks, we're about to Once again folks, please make sure to remain seated. Not yet folks, we are still moving, so please remain seated. Not yet, folks, not yet. It is now safe to exit the train on the right-hand side, platform side only. This is Nairobi. I hope you guys enjoyed your trip here on the Serengeti Express. If you guys a robotic did, voice recording back here. For those folks that are staying on board, the next stop is going to be right back to Stanleyville. Behind it, that's Cheetah Hunt. We'll be going over it 
and a lot of our other roller coasters here in our trip, so I don't want to spoil anything. Now, folks, we are now departing Nairobi. As we depart, folks, everybody look over to the right hand side of the train, put a hand up in the air, and wave goodbye to our hard working station master. Starting off on our journey, this green and yellow roller coaster all around us is known as Cheetah Hunt. Cheetah Hunt opened up at the park's first launch coaster, it's the longest roller coaster in the park. Taking ground is over 4,000 feet of track, it's going to toss you to 60 miles per hour. It gets up to that speed because it has three electromagnetic launches that can shoot riders up to those speeds. Now, fun fact about Cheetah Hunt. Despite being called Cheetah Hunt and being inspired by the movement patterns of a cheetah, it is still slower than the top speed of a cheetah. Cheetahs get around at a top speed of 80 miles per hour, while Cheetah Hunt's top speed is only 60. Over there on the right hand side of the train, that tall white building is the Serengeti Overlook. Come to our giraffe bar, our Oasis Pizza, as well as our Pass Holder Lounge. It allows for a nice aerial view of our Serengeti as well as a nice place to get a drink or relax and get a meal during the day. Over here on the right hand side of the train is Gopher Skirts. Gopher Skirts is a family ride person for young guests trying to grow without the first time as it has zero inversion. It takes riders up in an elevator shaft that come face to face with King Venom and then take it forwards turned around to face backwards and spun at 360 degrees all around. side of the train is Montu. Montu is an inverted roller coaster, meaning you ride below the tracks instead of above them. There's the top speed of about 65 miles per hour when it opened in 1996. It was the world's largest inverted roller coaster. It was also the largest seal roller coaster in the state of Florida. Both of those titles were lost to other roller coasters, however, it is still highly rated as one of the best inverted roller coasters not only in the state of Florida, but also in the United States. Now folks, we are entering into a free roaming animal habitat, so please make sure to remain seated and keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside of the train. Also, it may get a little windy out here, so I'd recommend holding on to any loose belongings, such as hats. Starting out, over there on the left-hand side, those tall animals are the reticulated giraffe. The reticulated giraffe is the tallest land mammal, growing at a height of 18 to 19 feet tall. They lack a pair of vocal cords, meaning they can't audibly communicate with each other. But they also have a 360 degree field of view and can see in full color like us. Also over there on the left hand side, you'll be able to see those striped animals. Those are the Greddy Zebras. Greddy Zebras are the largest zebra species in the world. They have stripes that do not go around their full body. Instead, they have a completely white underbelly. That means that they are white with black stripes. On the left hand side of the train, those white animals with the wavy horns are known as the Ajax antelope. The Ajax antelope are 
an extremely endangered species of antelope, only around 500 of them in the wild. The reason why they're so endangered is also because of the fact that they have those nice blazing horns, those are sought after by hunters. Well, we have some here to protect their many future generations and enjoy their presence and look at their eyes and horns. They look pretty cool. side, you'll be able to see those striped animals. Those are the grant zebra. They're different than the grand zebra since they do have stripes that do go around their whole body and they're a little bit smaller. Grand zebras are the most recognized zebra species in the world. Most depictions of them in pop culture are of the grant zebra. is that they are not related to horses. They are actually related to donkeys. Up towards the front of the train, we got these large animals known as the white rhinos. White rhinos are the third largest land animal. They can weigh up to two and a half tons. I'm gonna ask that everybody stay seated because we may suddenly jolt forwards and I don't want anybody hitting their face on the steel bench. Once again, if you are currently standing up, please sit down. Thank you. We are going to be moving here. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. The white rhinos are the third largest land mammal. They get big. They get really, really, really big. In fact, that little one out there, being born last October, once again, folks, please stay seated. Thank you. Will eventually weigh up to two and a half tons, which is 5,000 pounds, like I said. In fact, our biggest one out there weighs almost about that much. Additionally, their horns are made out of the same stuff our fingernail and hair are made out of, which is pretty neat. That's known as keratin. It will rub against logs and rocks as a way to quote-unquote flip their nails. Now over here on our left-hand side, you'll be able to see a few more of our great fingers as well as some on the right side. Also over there on the right-hand side of the train, you'll be able to see, in the distance behind those two zebras, a group of dark brown animals with large horns known as the sable antelope. They're a matriarchal species of antelope, meaning they are led by a dominant female in the herd instead of a male. Also over there on the right-hand side, those gray animals with the jagged ears are known as the wildebeest. The wildebeest travel in the densest packed earth during a great migration and their numbers being well over a million. Also over there on the right-hand side, those tan animals with the same white stripes on them and the tough fur on their back are known as the greater kudu. Those folks like to hide in the bushes, so seeing them out in the open like this is quite rare. We also have over there on the right hand side a white brown animal with a white ring on its back known as the water buff. They have a specially coated fur that is hydrophobic and repels water. They are excellent at swimming. There's also a singular great gazelle laying down over there on the right hand side. There's a few more over there on the left behind us. And those two large birds, those are the redneck ostriches. The redneck ostriches have an extremely powerful kick that is able to take down a lion in one fell swoop. Do not want to with those birds.
right hand side of the train, you'll see the large horned animal known as the Matusi cattle. They get their name from the Matusi tribe to keep them as sacred animals. They only use for any meat, but they're only used for milk that they can produce. Their milk is very similar to regular cow milk that we have, except it's a little bit more sweeter than ours. When you get out a glass of milk, it's only supposed to be spoon or sweetener into it. Over here on the right hand side of the train, the Steel and Rotor Roller Coaster is known as Kumba. Kumba gets its name from an African word that means roads, especially. And with all the tracks that allows it to generate a roller coaster under around the hundred decibels. You can hear these bits roar throughout the entirety of the park on a full day, and that is on a microphone for miles away from the park. Kumba has a total of seven inversions. In fact, its inversions were state of the art for the time when it was built in 1993, as most of its inversions became staples of other roller coasters after it. Kuba not only pioneered the roller coaster history and design, but also pioneered the gardens history, as it later led the gardens to create rides such as Manchu, Lossy, Sheep Rub. This roller coaster still holds up to this day, still aging incredibly well, as it has surpassed many previous roller coasters that it competed with at other parks. Over here on the right hand side is the Congo River Rapid. One of our two water rides here at the park. Three if you count the train when it's raining. We'll have you and 11 other rides that you completely soaked at the toe in water with. Earlier today, oh boy, when it was really hot out, it did not feel like a bad idea. But now since it's cooling down right now, I don't see anybody on it. Over there on the right hand side of the train is the Congo antelope. We are a nocturnal species of antelope. It's kind of like you know during the daytime, kind of like myself in college. There's one right there looking at us right now. coming out right now. Doing something. Oh, I've got an itch. Over here on the left hand side, this concrete wall is Sangala. Originally, a roller coaster used to be here known as Python, which was our first ever roller coaster built back in the 1970s. That roller coaster was demolished in 2008. Side, my bad. It's also close stops to the Stanleyville Theater and Stanleyville Lock Room, which is our other water ride. It's also home to Sheikra and Tigris. It's also close stops to Tungala and Congo. Tungala being home to our Chick fil A, Tigers and Orangutans, and Congo being home to the bumper cars, Congo River Rapids, and Kuma. Additionally, Stanleyville is also the close stop to Sesame Street and the Bird Garden. Now, folks, we are entering into Stanleyville, so I do ask everybody please stay seated until we come to a full and complete stop. Not yet, folks. We are still moving, so please remain seated. Yeah. Almost. Yes. Ooh, hold on. 